Hi guys, welcome to another battery report. Uh, this time I took my Halle 3 uh, against my friend's uh, trolls and uh, he took Gunburn uh, to this battle. So I rolled higher and I chose to go first because Halle uh, re really wants to go first uh, to call her echoes so to uh, be relevant in, in turn 2. Uh, I um, spread out my cavalry and uh, generally spread out the deployment uh, because I don't know where he's going to deploy his forces and the cavalry can is fast enough to, to switch sides to either side so that shouldn't be a, a real problem for me. So this list uh, is mostly a shooting list with a bit of punch uh, in, uh, in uh, close uh, combat but uh, thanks to that that I have a decent range on my shooting I uh, don't really have trouble to uh, reach uh, my enemy from, from both sides of the board. Also uh, cloud wall uh, allows me to uh, close distance uh, to my enemy without retaliation. So my opponent set up uh, his deployment, uh, his uh, battle group goes uh, mostly in the center and uh, then uh, my advanced deployment goes also in the center and uh, so I can set up a, a clean line of uh, smoke in front and then his advanced deployment goes skewed a bit to the left. So we shake hands and I start with uh, Hale going and summoning her echoes and she casts the uh, tactical supremacy and temporal distortion. And after that's done, I pre measure my uh, clouds. And just after that, I move my trenchers so they uh, they are outside uh, outside of the cloud. So they move, and then they are positioned out. After this, uh, stuff runs up. Mostly the uh, junior casts arcane shield on lances, and uh, Alexia creates uh, a trial. So I can later maybe use it to, to finish something off or contest the flag. It's a useful free solo that way. And then the turn goes to my opponent. So uh, first my opponent activates his uh, big pushwalkers uh, and uh, they advance and uh, take positions to counter my uh, cavalry. Then a uh, far scout activates. He's uh, actually a proxy base. And he moves uh, to the left. Takes a shot at my uh, at my cavalry. But it misses. So uh, Gunbjorn uh, activates and he casts a uh, rock wall to hide behind. <coughs> then he advances behind the, the rock wall and uh, he also casts snipe on the bomber and uh, he uses his feet. And, uh, <clears throat> Later, we thought that maybe that was uh, a bit too early uh, for him to use the feet because not all of my stuff uh, would be in range and he could have approached one more round behind the rope and then the next round to use the feet. So anyway, the rest of the, uh, his army runs taking positions 
and piece uh, run center and to the right to take the right flank where I put much less uh, of my mar army and uh, then it's my round. So I have a, a bit of a problem because because most of my army shoots and uh, frankly I'm not able to target his uh, models with my shooting because of the feet. So my idea is to slow his advance or slow advance of his beasts I would uh, feed and uh, uh, use a force hammer twice uh, on each of his beasts to slam them back and do some damage on them and uh, increase the range that they are but uh, to do that uh, I would need to put up a cloud wall uh, so my uh, trenches would first uh, do the cloud wall, then retreat. But in, in the heat of the moment, I first uh, start moving the uh, hollies. So I just agreed that I will move trenches after we uh, solve for the holly. Um, so holly feeds and uh, Halle passed, that it, she's just behind the building there she slams the bomber uh, into uh, Mauler doing tons of damage and then uh, Halle uh, does the same to uh, Dozer and also slams him back and then Halle uh, hot swaps the tactical supermancy so she can retreat into a safer position. So uh, then I noticed that I forgot to move my trenchers and uh, my opponent is online because it's a friendly game. He allowed me to, to do it uh, before Halle's movement because Halle uh, you need to have true sight didn't matter if the clouds were up or not and uh, the rest of my army would not shoot anyway because of the feet uh, so uh, it would not uh, change the game state uh, so the, as said the rest of my army just uh, uh, takes positions I put a defender in front of Hali they both touch the objective, the bunker so in case there will be some uh, blast damage, they will be uh, safe there. Uh, and uh, I want to gen uh, some of the enemy's right flanks. So I send one, uh, one calf model just uh, charging the scout there and to create him uh, with a bit of a problem. So my uh, charging lens uh, kills the scout up there, but uh, I don't do anything uh, more important and I reposition just to be a general nuisance for the bushwalkers and the war wagon. And uh, then I consider what to do with the rest of my army and I retreat my sniper. And uh, that's the, that's my turn. So uh, I pushed back the beast. They were knocked down, so they have to uh, force themselves uh, for one fury to get up. And uh, I hope they are far enough, so they will not be able to do much damage. They can they can trample in the cloud and uh, shoot something and I hope it will not be enough to be significant. So as first the uh, war wagon activates and because of the dual attack rule it can uh, attack my lens uh, in in combat and then shoot, but it missed the lens. Uh, 
in combat and uh, shoots at my leader and misses and then uh, it scatters into nothing so no harm done and then uh, war wagon repositions to a new location then uh, bushwalkers uh, activate uh, so my opponent will try to uh, create some uh, problems to my lenses so they will be a bit tied up and some of them will try to get in the wood so they can shoot uh, take shots at my trenchers and also uh, to contest uh, the flag so I can uh, score or my scoring will be difficult until I deal with the Bushwalkers. So they take positions and uh, they have pretty uh, large uh, ranges so they take, take shots at my trenchers and uh, one of them hits uh, and I do not tough so one trencher is down. So Gunburn activates, casts Lucky Shot uh, on the, the Dozer and then uh, casts a new rock wall and then uh, advances uh, to take cover behind the rock wall. Then uh, Dunion not uh, advances and they give uh, Dozer the Puppet Master, so re rolls. And then the Dozer Trapples uh, to be in the cloud and it can shoot uh, inside and, uh, and it does so. The shot goes into my uh, Defender, the blast damage. Uh, it uh, not uh, do anything to Haley, but uh, it will for sure be problematic for the trenchers. And uh, one trencher toughs, and the second one goes down. So it's a second soul for Alexia. So in general, that wasn't so bad. Uh, I was uh, afraid that I will lose more trenchers than, than this or uh, that defender will get something creepy so the bomber goes and uh, scores on the flag and uh, Mauler just uh, advances to be ready for charging next round and this is my turn so now I need to do a lot of work uh, because uh, I have uh, three beasts in front of me I need to optimize my, uh, my uh, damage that uh, that I will do, and hopefully I will take uh, two of those beasts out. So uh, from the trenches that have fallen, Alexa creates two reason, and uh, then I consider where to put. Anastasia, but uh, well, she will not do much work. On the left flank, everything is out of the uh, out of her range. On on the right flank, there is a war wagon that uh, it will be difficult to damage, and bushwalkers that are not very uh, important targets. But uh, still, only work she can do on the right flank, so that's where I move her. Then uh, I pre-measure my. Uh, cloud wall, how it will uh, look, so just to have a more or less idea where I should finish my activations with my models. So I also pre-measure right where I want to put Ragman, because I want the uh, or beast in front there to be in the Ragman's field, field. so my uh, uh, Defender uh, will 
be able to kill it uh, alone and I put three focus on my defender. Defender is in the walking range of the beast so that should not be a problem with the field keys uh, P plus plus S 19. So uh, defender uh, activates, walks up and starts attacking and uh, I think he's uh, straight dies and he does pretty pretty much huge damage but uh, he fails uh, fails to kill unfortunately so my troll that was uh, near also charges the troll and uh, hits and uh, does enough damage just to take out the beast. Then my uh, left charger activates that was hiding behind the building there and, and puts uh, two boosted shots uh, into the bomber doing some damage with it. Then the second charger activates as well and repeats the uh, first one and again there are two boost shots going into the bomber so bomber is left with uh, not so many boxes right now so junior joins in and uh, shoots him as well I boost to hit and I hit and uh, unboosted pound 12 uh, was enough to uh, drop him a few boxes and then sniper uh, finished him off then out and Ashley activates and uh, shoots uh, Mauler and does so many much damage that he alone uh, takes down uh, Spirit uh, Column uh, in Mauler. Then uh, Sniper activates and does uh, 3 damage to the Mauler. Then I activate uh, Harley and uh, I plan to charge the uh, Harley uh, past uh, to kill Mauler or do much more damage to him that he's crippled and uh, because I can actually hit him he will not be healing First, uh, before I do this, uh, this time uh, I create my uh, clouds so I know where they will be placed. And I also put, did put uh, arcane shield on high uh, last round, so this time uh, Junior only up kept it. Up kept it. So with uh, temporal uh, distortion on and uh, no tactical supermancy uh, my uh, Harley pass charges the smaller and she starts uh, hitting him with uh, boosted damage and I believe she hits on force because of distortion and she has she has additional die on, on damage and then I boost damage each time just to optimize and uh, she takes down the Maura so this went uh, even better than I was hoping and uh, it's time to for my cavalry Halle passed did uh, cast on them Ghost walk, so they will be able uh, to go without penalty through the woods and uh, they charge the push, quick push walkers and uh, we'll see how many they can take down. So it's, it's going pretty well with, between the impact attacks 
shots, electro leaps, and charge attacks. Uh, I'm able to clear the uh, almost whole uh, right flank. One one of the toughs, and then after uh, I reposition. And then uh, Anastasia goes and uh, does 4 damage to the war wagon. So just about average, but uh, I would suspect. And then Alexia goes and she creates one trial, and the trial charges the push, push people out curse, but I hit and kill one of them but he toughs so that was it so the turn goes to my opponent he thinks uh, what to do but he lost all his war beasts his uh, momentum will now uh, definitely slow down uh, probably next round Gunburn would be assassinated if he stayed in this position on the right flank, he only has tied down war wagon and uh, a bit more than half a unit of bushwhackers. So he decides he concedes the game and and uh, signal wins. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you would like to see more of the battles, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel or like me on Facebook. See you soon!